Hey, what's up, everybody? Mr. Porkchop back here with another video. Today's video is going to be a really quick example of pulling information from a CSV file into a data structure, such as a list. Um, I'm going to do my best to just do a real quick example and kind of explain things along the way. I've been using CSV files a lot in my project for my data structures and algorithms to class that I'm in right now. And I had to do a lot of different Googling and YouTube searching to try to get all the data pulled in the right way and be able to actually look at it. So I figured this was worth putting, making a video on. Um, I'll try to make it as quick as possible. So what I'm going to try to do here basically is I have a CSV file that I've already saved inside of this projects folder. You want to just make sure that this uh, file is inside the same folder that you're trying to use it in, or you have to worry about you know, um, absolute file paths and I can go, I'll go over that in another video because I had a lot of issues with that too. But for this one, just have a CSV file saved inside of this folder. And actually I'll show you guys what is in this file right now. Basically all it is is a bunch of numbers and then the header is just like all A. So yeah, just, just a bunch of numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. What I'm going to try to do is take that CSV file and pull it into a list, um, basically a list of lists, like a two by two array or a matrix. So first thing first, you want to write in import CSV, and then below that, we will just define our function, which is going to be just load data. And it's, you're going to pass it basically the file name. So file name is the only parameter it really needs. After that, uh, I like to just create my list right above it. So we just create an empty list. That's what we're going to mend all this data into. And then you're basically just going to say with open and then file name. So we're going to do basically the list and then we'll do open file as and then we can create a whatever we want to call this file. So for us, we'll just call it numbers because that's pretty much what it is. And then after that, then we're going to create our rate, our reader. So we'll just say numbers, numbers data, it's going to equal our CSV dot reader. And then from the reader, we are going to basically use that numbers object that we just uh, created above it. And then because this is a CSV file, we can just specify in here that the delimiter is going to equal um, a comma and even when you, when you save an Excel file as a CSV file it'll say comma delimited so like that that's just kind of standard for CSV files and then after that um, I have been using this next kind of function here or next um, I think it's like a built-in function for um, CSV but if you do next and then pass in um, this numbers data that we just did here, our reader. So I'm just gonna pass in numbers data. This is going to basically skip the header. And you notice in that file, I put A's at the top, um, even though all of them are numbers. Like so I gave it a header, even though you really don't need to. But for some reason, when I try to pull the data without skipping a header, like if I just have all zeros in there, the very first index, index zero, zero, always ends up messed up it doesn't just pull in whatever the number is there it pulls in like extra characters so i've been having better luck just using this and skipping that first row uh, so after that then you can just do a for loop so you can do for row in your numbers data and then what this is going to do is it's going to loop through your file row by row and from there all you got to do is just amend all that information to your list now, what this is going to create, even though I have just an empty list here, what this is going to create is a list of lists. So it's going to create a list of every single row as a list object inside my list. And we'll print it after and I'll kind of show you. But basically what you want to do is just amend row. And if you want to pull information like not row, not row by row, like by, by actual um, just one piece of data at a time, then what you can do is you can pass indexes to your row object. So for instance, let's open this. Yeah, that's not, wasn't it? 
let's go to let's go to our thing right here gonna minimize this real quick all right so basically what we're asking it to do when we amend just the row let's say we did this right that is going to go through and it's going to grab the first row add all of these into a list and then amend that list to our list and like I said, if you want just this first 0, 0 index, then you're going to have to basically pass it an index, so 0. So row is taking this first string of data, and it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down to the end. So if you really want to pull out each one and make, instead of having a list hold all of the first row, you want to have every single one individually, you can do that if you want. But for this example, we are just going to pull out row by row all of our data. And then we're just going to have our um, function here return my list. So that's going to be that's going to complete our our load data function. And that will pull all of the information from that CSV file into a list. And now if we want to use this, all we got to do is do um, actually let's just create a new list, right? And so we can actually do something with it after. And we'll do load data and give it the file num file name. You can see my file is in the in my directory ar already and it kind of shows up number CSB. So we're just going to pass it that file name. And now with my new list object here, which is a list object, um, I can basically print what I want from that. So let's just do for row in new list print row and that should print out each list all back to back so let's go ahead and run this and you can see that all the data that was in my CSV file is now inside of my list and you can see it pretty much mirrors my CSV file perfectly so we have all of our numbers right here inside of my matrix, our list of lists. All right, that's pretty much all I'm going to cover in this video. If you guys have questions about this or you want to know more, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are interested in learning uh, about this example or ask me what you want to know about this example, and maybe I'll come back to it and uh, try to explain more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one short for today. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please subscribe, um, like this video, and that's all.